introduction way of doing things. Sorry if this is weird, doing my introduction this way with the screener up, recording. At least the clip is getting through, and you're getting my content somehow. No, I don't want to edit it. No, I don't want to do it that way. Do I? No, I don't. I want to take it piece by piece. I want to show you everything I have to go through to get all this ready. To ready for the part where I'm actually doing it. I'm actually making the content. I'm actually showing you funny scenes. Wow. Anyway, hey you guys, welcome to another Let's Play of Terraria. Five years later. We will be continuing off where we left off from our last Let's Play. If it'll ever load. <sighs> My patience dwindles in these beginning halves, getting the clip ready for you guys. Why would I want to cut out this? The part where I'm stressing out, trying to get something to load, a game to launch, or getting something ready for y'all to get the content rolling, get the ball going. Yeah. Anyway, computers are slow sometimes, even though they're meant to go faster. Faster. Go faster. Go faster. Go. What happened? Did I completely lose it? I did, didn't I? I lost it. I lost it all. Everything I was. Everything I am. Anywho. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> I didn't lose my sanity yet. Not yet. Not as we start playing. Then I, then I go a little mad. <laughs> I go a little mad. Silence. Complete silence. Anywho, we will be continuing where we left off in the last one. <sighs> Don't judge Um, my character looks amazing. Oh my honestly has um we, we did some traveling lastly we did some mining we got materials uh, our character looks probably amazing oh my god the, the, the shark the shark pup forgot all about this guy ah. anyway um yeah it was escape it escape is that button W, no, R, no, M, M is for map it, we traversed all the way to the left, my goodness, we went far, we discovered so much, guys, um, so I think I did promise y'all, um, in the next Let's Play, this one, I would try, after getting as much as we can get done in our world, to go all the way to the right, because I think I stopped at a certain point. Yep, I stopped. I, I, I couldn't... I didn't have the feeling to keep on going. So, we're going to do that after we get some more materials going and we make our house a little more nicer. Um, we will be also focusing on some achievements as well. Which are simple achievements. I might as well just start on one right now. And one of those achievements is... Uh, you need to start getting more people. My my companion, my people that love me, my I start to connect. I, I start to collect. Them. I start to create a little city. Go with city. I love the city. Shark, you're in the way. Shark, you're in the way. Shark, you're in the way. You're going to be smacked by wood. Oh my god, shark. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing, shark? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna make a little pup right here. Um, it's 
not sure what you're doing. Sorry, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a little bit of heart break. Uh, small, but nothing too much. Too, too uh, challenging. Too, too like, uh, advanced. There's something a little soft to show sure you guys what you gotta do. The necessity of like, the area. Yeah. The basics of it. Uh, it also has a crafting bench for person that you have in your house. Uh, because we need it just like we need it. We are all in the same boat, guys. We are all in this together. Alright, uh, that'll give me the ability to craft. Yes! Uh, we try to work on some of the achievements that Terraria has to offer. Should be fun. Is it? Place the door. I'm gonna work on the wood on your background. Wood walls is what you need to get your house open. Lots of wood! Oh my goodness! Okay. That's a wood. That's a wood. The people need a background. They need a wall behind them so they don't have to look at that background area. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're gonna be disturbing me this whole time in my video. You're gonna be just like right there. Right there. The whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sharky. Oh my god. There you go. Oh my god. Sharky. Oh, and then I get to show you guys what the hammer is used for on the game. Which you can do with the hammer. As I just messed up just now. Oh, I messed up twice, actually. My bad. Alright, so if you ever mess up on a back wall, it's a little off. You can hit it just like that. Um. And you're able to pick it up. It just allows you to, you know, pick up your mess ups. You can as well hit enemies with it. Uh, it, it works a good deal too, just as a weapon. And you can also break off pieces of regular wood, like that. Like they probably could do that to that piece of wood right there. Uh, I feel like it's, I'm OCD. So when I see that I mess up the wood a little bit, I always like to fix it. If I can tell that I messed it up. Um, and then another great thing to do to make your character, whoever lives here, feel comfortable is by putting a chair next to it. That's what I like to do. That's just me. That That is, like, probably the guidelines, though, of what you do in the game. It, you can go to the Terraria Wiki, which has all your information on it, but it's probably one of the things you mostly have to do. A certain length, certain building blocks, I think, for the house. Area, I guess you would say. Area, expanse. Uh, like, width, height, you know, length. That's what I meant to say. Length of the house is supposed to go a certain direction, a certain way. I like to put wooden floors, just because I'm starting off. And yeah, the, the wall, the, the door's gonna disappear, obviously. I don't mind that, I'm gonna start fresh. I'm gonna start fresh on placing this stuff. I just wanted to clear out the for now. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you doing, little guy? Get all your blocks and assets together. Your materials, assets, whatever you want to call them. Um, step by step, we will be making this. Amazing. Best little hut in the world. Everyone will enjoy it. Everyone will love it. Everyone will enjoy it. Everyone will love it. Oh my god. It's a house. Boogie woogie woogie. It's a house for a friend. Boogie woogie woogie. Voila. Uh, I'm not sure how long it takes though. Oh! Instantly. So, that's the perfect explanation of um, what you need do you a character and it's so cute and great nurses arrived first i like that. i like that we get the nurses first uh one of the achievements you're supposed to do is that uh she will come from the right side most likely of her place i would say i should put a door on the side because i definitely going to be able to jump on over so make her feel inclusive and Allow her to be able to go on both sides of the side of the 
So we can see her on the left side, and we can view her on the right side. Okay, she is our nurse. And I would think she's the most important person in the world. She's to make, make sure you are feeling great at all times. Thank you, nurse. I hope you enjoy our little wood hut for you. Kind of perfect for a nurse, because a nurse is just a nurse. I mean, I don't know. You don't have to make her make it that special. It seems they are fine with whatever they get, as long as they're happy uh, being here and helping you and making sure you're fine and everyone's fine. We are all fine here. Fine. Fine. Fine indeed. Fine, 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 fine. Alright, so I think what our next step should do... Next step should be... Is probably... Oh no. What hit me? That was so weird, huh? Something hit me, but I couldn't see what it was. Is to probably adventure. Keep on mining and adventuring. I say we explore to the left in our mining with the desert. Oh, there it is. Caught you red-handed. There you are. You're trying to kill me. Come on over. I say we go to the left and do some adventuring. Uh, that's just me. That's what I would do. Yeah, let's go to the left for a little bit and see what the desert biome has to offer. Because I'm crazy like that. I'm gonna explore the desert. You guys wanna come join me and explore the desert? I'm gonna call down. Go explore the desert. Can't be that bad, huh? I'm gonna probably jinx myself, huh? I say it can't be that bad, and then we come all the way over here, and then I just keep on dying. Sounds fun. Oh, I thought we had, uh... The ability to get on the mine shaft. Mine cart. Right? Left click? What is it? I am having some technical difficulties. There you go. Figured it out. Right click. <laughs> technical minor difficulties as we skate towards the left. And as we notice, we are passing by all these little areas here. Thank you for writing Squid Crack. Squid Park. And I'll see you guys next time on the next ride of the century. Ah, uh, yeah, technical difficulties again. Uh, oh, it's E. E. Uh, so mining through sand is kind of fun, too. Wow, look at that. That goes our torch. Technical difficulties again. Oh, that's not going to be smart. I should probably... Find a piece right there. Then put a torch right there. Smart. There you go, squid. Now we can start mining the desert. And have some light at the same time. So I might start to build a mine part through this desert area. All the way to the left. So we can have, like, an underground cavern throughout the world. And we don't have to walk all the way above the surface. We can just part through the surface. Ooh, underground. That's what I usually like to do. My world is have an underground minecart system running all the way to the left of my world and all the way to my right. It's beautiful. <coughs> Very beautiful. The sand's actually disappeared. Looks like it's starting to turn into like castle like hard substance. That might be useful too. Very useful indeed. Wow. Wow, look at that. The sand's gone. The sand is gone. We must be getting into some form of biome or something. I don't know. I guess that's why we came here to explore. Explore this strange area. And also fight anyone that comes near. Yo, 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 yo. Get him, pup. Get him, pup. He's trying to kill me. Get him, pup. Get him. Get him. Take him down. Protect your queen. 
Protect your queen, pup. I am your queen. Protect your queen. The pup is supposed to be my minion. And the person that's supposed to protect me. But he's not doing his job deadly and protecting his queen. The enemies are coming again, pup. You have to protect me. I will die. Protect me. Protect me. Protect the spirit, please. Why you do this? Why you do this? Why you no protect me? I honestly want to see what we have in the puzzle here. Looks like some kind of fan castle of some kind. Oh, look, guys. We've discovered something very interesting. Wow. Very, very interesting indeed. Go exploring through here. See what we found. Queen Squid will discover something very interesting indeed. I am the queen, and you guys are my peasants. I will treat y'all all with love and respect, as a queen shall. If I treat y'all with love and respect, I probably shouldn't be calling y'all peasants, right? Probably not. Um, I will call you my followers. Better, better. I switched up the game right away, guys. Came up with a new word. Well, a word that's better. My followers. Okay, so... I'm gonna break all this, because I like breaking stuff. We're gonna go explore the other way. I will come back up. I, I, I have this on my map. So, it's it's here. It's been discovered. You can always go back. It's not like it's gone forever, and I'll never find this area again. I have a photographic memory. I memorize everything. Don't worry. I will come back to see what was in those chests. I just thought to go both ways to make sure, you know, if there's any enemies or anything below, we can go discover together. Together, like a family that we are. In this wild journey of discovering, like an Indiana Jones story. That would probably be his assistant. To be honest, I would be Indiana Jones assistant. I'd be wearing this outfit too. A really cute outfit. Maybe a dress. I'd probably wear a dress with some makeup. Ah, uh, that rock music has intensified. This is a, uh, what we've discovered right here. Is actually another area of the game. It's another biome, or another section of the game. Where it's... It's a bunch of, like, these... Caterpillar, sand, beetle things, and it's their own biome. So it's nothing but monsters in that biome. Literally, it's just covered in larvae and uh, beetles and giant creatures that attack them. So it's it's very hard and um, aggravating. And I would want to fight them whenever I'm like better tier, like I'm more like prepared in this instance. So what did we find? Flying carpet, glow sticks, torches. Beautiful. Loot it all. Let's take the chest with us. Beautiful. Um, let's see. Where are we at? We uncovered this. And I say we keep moving to the left. But I don't want to start mining here. Uh, we could make a spot up here to remind me whenever I'm walking up a top where this place is. So we could start mining here. To let future stealth me know if I ever forget where this is. I might forget this area. Ah, uh, that'll definitely make me know where this is because I'm mining this area. We can make like a whole desert hole. Perfect. Future me will definitely know where this is because there would be a gaping hole in the floor. And I should know where this is. I will leave it at a certain level. But those zombies do not get to me. I'm not about to have some sort of creature problem. 
Um, but at a certain level, well, I'll notice it. And it'll be... Interesting. Okay. Alright. Good. We're all set. My followers. Let's go, my... Squid army. My creatures. My whatever I've been calling y'all for the past... Wow, actually, I've noticed in nine years, ten years, I've been calling you guys my followers, creatures, my army, my family, that has always seemed to stuck around like glue. Never left me, never left my side. Maybe a few people here and there, maybe, but there's still a few people that stuck around. That like what I do. That are intrigued by the way I do things. That it's different. It's different from everybody else. That rock music has very intensified, mate. It's really got me in the jam. Got me in the mood to fight. I'm craving battle. Let's get to war. Maybe not anymore. I'm done. I'm done with I don't block. I, I don't have stop. Please. Stop. I insist. I am the queen. Stop. Stop. Where are my blocks at? On stand block. Oh no, we're doomed. Leave me alone. Leave the queen alone. Stop killing the queen. Anything with that. I will die, please. We got a merchant who arrived. Okay. Uh I will Nope. I need food. I'm gonna do that. Go to seven. Eight. Perfect. Now we're good. I thought I'd also talk about my journey as well with you guys in this clip. While we are traversing and exploring and adventuring and mining and crafting and discovering new things in this great Terraria world. Um, if any of y'all have seen my coming out video, sure. it basically talked about how I've been hiding for a while, and finally it came out the closet and told you guys, um, me, who I am, figured out who I am over the years, and coming out to y'all has probably been the biggest thing to y'all, and it, it does feel great to talk to somebody, to let things out, have somebody to talk to that, that understands and that would probably take your side in helping you, assisting you with whatever you're going through in life. That's very important, you know, having someone there for you when you're going through a rough time in life, when you're dealing with a lot. Make more bombs. Probably make all bombs. All bots. It's always good to have someone to talk to. Especially when you're part of a group of people that uh, some people just don't understand and they feel like the best way to handle those people is to hate them and to be mean to those people when in actuality doing that is making the situation worse for them. But it's, it's bullying basically. We don't tolerate it. Don't tolerate people that hurt your feelings just because you're different from everyone else. That's not how you should handle it. You should handle it smarter than that. You should be smarter than that. You should be open-minded to differences. How people are different from other people. That is the right way to handle it. Uh, we've actually did get that by with all the centipede people and caterpillars. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We'll get through it. Promise. We'll traverse through it. I honestly wish, uh, I'd have more people playing with me. I think would be pretty cool. Um, if there were more soldiers, I guess you'd call them, since it's a squid army. Soldiers that could protect me. Like, I'm the queen from that one meme. Um, uh, uh the Ugandan knuckles. Like, protect your queen. I am the queen. Protect me. Do you know the way? Queen, queen, we come to protect you, queen. The queen is getting hurt. I beat the queen. Protect the queen. Do you know the way? Do 
you know the way. I did, I, I do voice impressions, just lightly. Um, just for fun, though. It's not like I'm a big star voice impression person. I can only do a few, like, y'all see my, y'all saw how good I could try to do the Shaggy one. That was, like, the best I could do it throughout that whole Meagle video. Best I could do. Don't think I could do any more that are, are that great. Uh, I could do Goofy. My mom loves that. That's her favorite, whenever I do Goofy. <coughs> I'm Goofy. <laughs> That's, like, the best I could do it. I can't hold it out like I did with the Shaggy. I think that day I was just like, my voice was like in the best condition to be able to hold it out throughout that whole video. But yeah, I don't think I can uh, be able to hold that out any more than I already can. Um, yeah, we are definitely in this biome. Okay, so there are different little creatures, like the virus, and these cactus will run at you until they kill you instantly. Cactus are evil. Cactus are evil! Ow. We may die. Yep, we have died. It's okay, it's okay. We didn't expect it to come, I thought it would be lower than we hit it, but we actually hit it now, so... A little biome that we entered. Well, it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, we didn't fully. We fully. We didn't fully fail, guys. We're still good. We are still. Mwah, good. Still working towards something. Beautiful. How far we've gotten. Um, we've discovered that. So let's leave that alone. And maybe just work on mining in the area around that. Might be good. Um. Since it's Sir Squidland, the queen squid herself. A land of lands. Where my people roam. My territories. My colonies. My. My. Um. My people. I am the queen here. I have territorized all this land. And I've great peace and love, and harmony, and tranquility, and so much good things. I signed a treaty. I signed a beautiful treaty. Where all my people are here, living in peace, love. We all love each other. We all accept each other. No matter how different you are. It's such a beautiful, ravishing town. I, I would want everyone to come here. You can explore, you can discover new creatures, new items. You can craft new things. It's so beautiful. It's a getaway place. A getaway from a getaway place that you're trying to get away from. Wordplay right there, huh? We're gonna go all the way to the left now. Oh, don't let the one touch us. No touchy. Don't touch me. I'm the queen. I don't like when you touch me. No touchy. I rule here. This is my place. I should do like a voice like, uh, off with their heads. Off with their heads, peasants. More land. More land. Alice. Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if you've watched that movie. Mwah. One of my favorites. All time favorites. Love it. The, the music per, uh, person that got. The lighting here has made my hair look orange. Incredibly orange. The purple lighting here. It's, it's kind of cool. I like it. My hair has went from like a reddish tint to yellow. I don't know if you guys are noticing that or it's just me. But the lighting from the purple, because you know, my character is kind of orangish. <laughs> Yellowish. Pretty. I like the color. I like the pretty color. My last clip for our Let's Play, I was so excited about making these torches. Indeed, I am. Very beautiful. I am the queen. Bow down to me. We will discover many things. Explore many new territories. Traverse in such a loving way. We will conquer lands, but not in the mean way. Not in the negative way. 
but in the positive way. We will use our words. We will talk things. We will we will offer to trade things in a peaceful manner, not in a manner that is mean, harmful to others, where the people hate us instead of loving us. We will never do that. Now there may be little creatures that are evil, and devious like these that are trying to kill the queen that must die. They just they cannot live any longer. They are trying to hit the queen. They they put food on the feet. They make them cry. I don't like to get boo boos. I don't like to get hurt. You cannot hurt me. I see the diamond right there. Oh, amazing throw. I got an arm on me, that's for sure. Or diamond or crystal or lead. Back to the old lead. Oh, we've got a bat. Sneaky little one. I killed that in the dark. Look at me. Look at the champ I am. I'm gonna probably title that as my let's play for this one. I'm gonna just title it, I'm the Queen. I am the Queen. This is my land. You shall not be here. You shall leave. You are not welcome. Well, only if you like do something I don't approve of. But other than that, I don't think there's a way you could really make me mad. I'm a very easygoing person. I'm very nice. I'm very. You can talk to anybody that knows me. I am a nice person. It would take a lot to make me mad. Really. Take a look. Yeah. I'm very calm. No way for me to get mad. Even if you're the most honest person in this world, I could see the kindness in you. I could still see the greatness in you. Oh, so what we've discovered here, down below, is an underground tree, or better known as um, the type of trees I love that are really cool. They're like uh, metal, iron, made of, um, they're grown, they have to be grown only in areas of the ground. So it's like a dark, crystallized tree that... Yeah, it's just like basically self-explanatory. It's made of crystals and like metal. It's a dark, it's a dark grown tree. It can only be grown in areas where stone is and where it's underground and there's no light. It grows, so it's almost like a nocturnal tree. I think. It's kind of cool. Oh no! Oh no! Too close to the bomb. There we go. Also killed our little bat trying to kill me. So two and one. Two and one deal. Alright, uh, we're gonna get into those ropes. Those ropes. Oh, another one. We can climb up this way by this tree. So beautiful. Love it. Come up here, but of course there. And I see that there might be some type of corruption up there. By the way, that put another room right up here. I hear a gecko. I hear a lizard type creature. Those are bad. I don't like those creatures. And we can try to gather as much cobwebs as we can. They're helpful for our future selves whenever we need them. Oh, there's our lizard friend. He's a bad little one. I'm here, bat. The controls of the PC, I've really learned how to work very good. Oh, they also spit this venom. I've really come accustomed to the way that the controls are on here. I can multitask now. Oh yeah, that venom's big. We're gonna bring up the trusty, get some archery practice here. Since he's wanting to test us, it's his archery. Ooh, he's a jumping, he's a dodging. I don't think so, the queen doesn't like that. Yes! 
Good one. Skills. Also in this game, if you kill a lot of the same creature, you start to get these little banners. You get a lot more the more you kill. You get a banner every time. So say if you get like 50 of them, 50 kills, 100 kills, 150, you get a certain amount of them. It's so cool. I love it actually, the idea, the concept of like, as many as you kill, the more you get. Alright, so we're gonna do that traversing down to that left corner over there, in that case. We're gonna go that way. Um. Alright, so I'll hold down to be able to make it where I can go down. Then we're gonna make some, um. We're gonna start making those glow storage. Now we get to finally use the glow storage. Um, I like to do the green. Make as many as those as we can. The blue, I mean, because they're sticky. So when you use them, they stick to the walls when you go into water. And it's easier to control. Ooh, let me use this area for a bomb. Because that's some form of metal. Either iron, here it looks like. Perfect. Okay. I don't even know what's hitting me. What's hitting me? 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 Fancy, fancy, fancy. Go out, go out, go out. Too much. Potion, potion. They're chasing me. Ah. Man, these guys are quick. Quick to kill. Alright, skeleton's a little too much. Let's go this way. We can start doing archery. Archery, archery, archery. Up a daisy, up a daisy. Reverse, reverse around. Shoot, shoot. Practice shooting. Score from one for me. Score for me. One point me, no point y'all. Oh, oh, forgot about you. John little troublemaker. Trying to kill me. Okay, good. Alright, we're doing good so far. Progress, progress. We found another oops, wrong button. I threw another glow stick. It's okay though, either. Still lights up the area. We have made it to this part. Exploring the cave. Exploring, exploring. My land. The queen and her land. Love it. This way then, since we are exploring. Oh, that's another crab like creature. I see that guy. He's gonna get us. Trying <laughs> to attack us from behind. Sneak attack, I see. I don't think so, buddy. Or bomb there. We're gonna still mining. Mining, gathering ingredients. These glow sticks now come in handy because we can light up these parts that we weren't able to last. That looks like amethyst. That's a good material to use too. Right. Light up this whole path. And this can also be on my map, too, of this area. Unlock all this area right here. Can we put a torch right there? Yeah. And there's a snail! There's a snaily snail going that way! Snail, snail. Okay. Snaily, snaily. Down below. We are killing them left and right. Try to kill me? I still do you, buddy. Alright. Another bomb. These bombs have been so helpful. Bombs away. <laughs> left click, left click. Okay, we're good. Horses. Woo! Oh, is there another one of those? Yep. We're gonna have to do something about him. He's gonna try to mess up our plans. Ah, back. 
Bug off, bat. Not in the queen's way. Let's see about shooting out in the dark. No, probably not gonna work. Alright, now we can see what we're doing. There we go, I can aim and kill the skeleton first. Jump! Yeah. Okay. Come on, can't waste all my arrows on you. Guys, get my range of sight. You're almost dead. Come on. Yes. Alright, so that one was the big deal I had problems with. But, uh, these guys are just the toughest. Lizard girl. Oh god. Coming back around, aren't you? Yep, you should do. Okay, that's what Where are you? Come on, bring it on. How many now? Yes, got you. One for the kill. I got skills. I got skills. Lots of skills. Don't underestimate squid. Cool. Oh, we have a little total area. Cool. Okay. We can use this to put up some more rope. And we can start moving upwards. And up here. More bats. I see them. Ah. Fuck off, bats. Queen is not happy with y'all. Those species I do not like. You bug me so much. Oh, we ran out. I just noticed that, actually. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Alright, so, we made it all the way up here. Cool. Do you mind? Bug off! Alright. Did we run out of torches as well? No way! Oh, and these shadow slime type ones also make you kind of... your sight a little blurry, too. If you guys haven't noticed. They mess with your sight. Yeah. They kind of suck. But I, I'm used to the sight problem. Man. Man, all those torches. We go through torches pretty fast. Or that just yet. Nope. Not yet. Come on, place a torch. I'm trying to place the torch here. There we go. Takes me forever to place the torch. Uh oh. I wonder if I'm able to shoot this from my. Oh, I can. Yes. Right. You can do everything from a minecart. Good. I never have to get out. Come here, guy. Oh, we also got piranha. Kill them. Oh, great. Another one here. We're getting up on us, guys. From right and left. Got him. There's a big one from coming that way. No, 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 we made it this far. No, and you're a mother slime, too. You can't kill me yet. No, it's your 
Oh, that's awesome. Thank goodness. Alright, we're good. We gotta get that crystal. Two crystals? Hold the phone. Yeah, happy we did not die. This is very important. Gotta get them. Very important, very important. Very much needed. Now we can die. If we, if we die. Just those are very important to grab. Okay. Alright, we're good, we're good. Um I guess we jump for it. Oh boy. Not sure what down here, but I feel like just jumping down without a plan is not good. No, fat, fat, hey fat, run. Don't leave me alone. No. I'm getting ganged up on her. I will probably die. Oh, we've entered a new biome. The mushroom. Mushroom biome. Uh, we've discovered something that I didn't even know because it was so dark. It's one of those booby traps I was telling you guys about. I got squished by it. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> that caught me so off guard. It's okay though. It's okay. It's alright. I'm fine. I'm not mad. It happens. It happens so much. It happens. We got my crystal! That's what matters! Because our life force is up. We're stronger than ever. Uh, if you guys haven't also noticed as well, I am wearing Minecraft merch. It is a little uh, Ocelot cat. The cat after King Ocelot on Minecraft. So. Very nice shirt. Love it. Hope you guys are loving it. Cool design. My uh, my mom found it for me. It's great. Really sets the mood. <coughs> we got a queen. Still slightly sick too, by the way. Slightly sick. It's a, it's a knife. Oh, cool. It's a weapon that you shot. Very weak damage. I like it. And we got some scarab bombs. Those are very highly explosive, way more explosive than regular bombs, which you find. Very helpful, very useful. Indeed. That is so cool how much we discovered, and I got to show y'all what a booby trap is by being silly old squid and not noticing it and getting exploded. So we, uh, we look like we explored all of this and then we die. Not a minecart system, which is great. So when we come down this way, we can go, um, and go down in our little world, traverse that land part. If we ever want to go back, there's a mushroom area. We should be able to get that that mushroom area if we go down this other way, right here. You see where I'm pointing at? We can connect the two dots together. Boom. There's less work to do. I'm gonna go do that now, and we're gonna see what we uh, had missed out. I'm not gonna take the same route we went first time. I'm gonna take that other route. Should be quicker. Should be. Get the exploring in as much as we can so we know where things are. Our world is. So when next time we go, we don't have to do all that extra work of exploring. We can, or the mining as much. We don't have to do too much mining. Because we've already done the mining. We've already got the materials. We already did everything we have to do for that part. We can just worry about the other stuff we have to do. Like crafting items. Um, worry about building our houses. Uh, expanding our land. Building new little huts for our characters. And whatnot, you know, you know, expanding, expanding our land, or expanding the queen's land, her territory, me the queen, queen squid, screeching squid, 3G, the queen, um, or as I titled, same thing, fall damage, that always passes my mind, always forget, but yeah, <clears throat> we don't have to take the cart. You just go on down this little to the right. Traverse that way. Should be a lot easier. Do this hut that we found at last time. Nice little hut. We're gonna fix this up too. Once we get all the materials, the right proper materials. I wanna I wanna do it the right way, not the wrong. Fix it up the right way. We died right here once. 
Yes. All right. So what I can do is now go through here. Hello, <sighs> a little yawn. Walk on this way. We can figure out now that we have the, these things I told you about. Glow sticks. We're able to swim down. Floor now. Ah, perfect. We're able to see what's down here. And I can show you our new biome. We explode our way down there. Just keep exploding. <laughs> oh. Beautiful, beautiful explosions. Oh, I could also show y'all how the scare bomb works. So, um, I'll show y'all what that's all about. These blocks over here. Okay, let's watch how cool it is. What it does. Here we go. Aim it. You can aim it with your cursor if you want it to explode. Oh, now the water's good. Awesome. Drain the water too. Sometimes that's useful and sometimes that isn't. It's just if draining the water from an area is good, or in this instance, it could be bad. You never know. Just a pick. Mostly, it's every time I drain it. I'm gonna get it. It's not as bad. Now this is the mushroom biome, which are actually one of my favorites. Number one top favorite place to explore right here. Uh, it's because it's just very cool. It takes me back and makes me think of like so many other. It makes me think of other video games. Like it makes me. It reminds me of Mario, obviously, and it makes me think of Zelda for some reason. It's just the way it looks, uh, the colors and everything. That's why it just makes me like. It stands out for me on like how beautiful and creative it is. Um, I love it. One of my favorites. Really. Top favorites. It would actually be my second favorite. Um, my first favorite is uh, above the world. Um, exploring the um, if my world, my world probably doesn't. Do it. But it's where, if you saw in my last Let's Play, we saw a couple of sheep trees. Um, so it's supposed to be part of a magical biome with like unicorns, and uh, that would be my first favorite one. The, the fairies and magical. That makes me definitely think of Zelda. It's like a magical fantasy. Fantasy first, I guess you could call it. That's my number one, all time favorite. And then my second is this. And then my third would actually be another heart crystal. Every time you find them, you have to get them. They're like what make up the game, your character. They're what gets your character stronger each time you find them. Each time you eat them, basically, absorbing it. Little birds are being an issue. So my third favorite would actually be a um a dark biome, a creepy biome. That's one of my favorites. Um, it's the crimson biome because I love like how dark. Uh, you can say demonic, it's just like it's creepy. It gives you that scare. It just gives me that. I love the it is, how out there it is. It's just like makes you feel an edge. And I like that adrenaline rush that you get whenever you're in there, and they like all of you. Just, it just gets blood rushing. If you want like a challenge, and you want to feel your blood rushing, and like your adrenaline pumping, because you're trying to make sure your character doesn't die from the endless waves of like, crimson monsters that are attacking you, I recommend going there. That's the place to go. Yes, another crystal. Alright. Um, and if I can't find the magical biome, 
the one with the, the fairies and the forest and all that, if it's not in any of the worlds that I create, then I just want to find this one. Just to, like, have a relaxing feel with the, the, the blue look of everything and the mushrooms, and it's really cool. And, and the music changes, too, so the music's different from your normal music in Terraria. Um, if I don't find the mushroom biome for a while, which is unlikely, it's rare that I'd never find the mushroom biome at first. Um, then I at least want to find the crimson one to get like a blood rush feeling and enjoy the vibe like swinging constantly. But I would only have to get my character up to that point where like it's super tough. I got all the best armor. You know, I want to be rushing with all the armor, not the best sword. I want to be mentally and physically prepared to fight. All about. It's Let's, uh, we're gonna clear out some more space around here. Get a little area where we can explore more. Oh, jeez, that was a weird way of throwing that. Make some explosions happen. You wanna blow up? Blow up, slime. see that one guy down there just watching me. One of those creatures. With all the piranhas. We're not going down there, because that's a door right there. Uh, here, bomb. Let's point it to the right. Oh, we now got the achievement with the fairy. Another achievement. Uh, so we're going to follow the fairy. Where do we go? Following you. This should take us to... Um, move out the way. Like a treasure chest, usually the fairy takes us. Or, oh, okay. alright. He just wants to keep it. I'll loot it. But now our inventory is full. Now you get to see what it's like when we're fighting. Your character does have a lot of inventory spots, but that's only because there's so much stuff to find in this world. Uh, and now that there's so much to be discovered, and you're full, uh, that's it from there. You would have to go somewhere and empty yourself out. Empty your pockets. From all the stuff you find. Mind this floor. Oh no, mocking creatures. Oh, that blew it up! Good, thank you. That guy's kinda tough to fight. Yeah, I'm not like best of weapons to fight him right now. We're blowing up a blowing up a way for us to connect the left to the right while also mining. <laughs> mining more. Mine. Perfect. We made a way through. And I think this is exactly where we died too. Right around this area. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Might have a torch torches. All right, they're right there. Cool. Cool. All is good. All is good. Light up the way. Light up the way, please. No. No. Do you mind? No. I'm getting sick and tired of slime. You would too, probably. People watching you fight them. They do become a problem. They bug you a lot. They're the most spawned creature on this world. As a to, um, I guess, a zombie on Minecraft, is zombies spawn more? Probably. Then you see skeletons. Skeletons are the less spawn creatures, and uh, creepers are rare sometimes. On the area. Somewhat rare. Some people would beg to differ, but you know, zombies are the most Always, Even on Pocket Edition of Minecraft, other people pretty much spawned a lot. Zombies. Plastic. Uh, slum slimes are that big with it. Zombies are too. Zombies aren't here at all. Just as much as slimes. Gotta love them. Alright, potion time. We definitely need that. The queen needs her potion. Her medicine.
also see if we can have torches. I need them. Okay. That's gonna help us out. Big. Well, we discovered a new biome area. We move to we connect the two together. We can do some more exploring. Left now that we connected. Okay. One right here. Oh. He's not way. up if you get. Slime, as usual. Let's get that out of slime. Now we can get up in here. Probably below a route out first. This way. By the way. I think I said I want to go more to the left. Yeah. Underneath all this. I'm gonna make a route. Bombs away! Um, this also gets by if y'all have seen the. I don't know. Didn't even know. So I started talking. Um, a animated, I guess anime or animation cartoon is what people call it. It's an anime. anime, uh, movie called Steam Boy. Steampunk stuff is one of my all time favorites. I love the aesthetic of steampunk and the vibe it throws off and like the feel of the steampunk world. It's one of the other things I'm like obsessed with and I love so much. Uh, it's pretty cool. And just as much as Steampunk I love are two other ones which are emo and golf, which are very similar in a way. Dark speedy, black stuff. See my background editing when I'm moving and closing or opening up recording. You see it on the background. Um my chatting from the stream, I like to do the background, uh, if you guys noticed. Good vibes in the background. Uh, this area is what I found very effective. Um, the good vibes with the middle fingers and perfect for my background or my um, chatting type for my Twitch stream when I'm chatting, talking about controversial stuff. But yeah, I like the style that the two has to offer. Both my background on my computer and the background for my Twitch streaming. Oh, lead. That's what this is. Good. Need that. That's what need. Much worse than the bombs. Back mining. The whole point of the game mining. I'm actually, I have a goal. It's that ore that's right there. I could have went the underwater way, but I see the mobs are right there, so I might as well went the. I went underground instead. I went a different way. Because I didn't want to have to deal with the mobs that are up there. And I thought I could get under this way. And uh, now, no. Oh, and I see a heart crystal. I didn't even notice that, too. Jeez, Squid. I have a dumb moment. Every time. Maybe I could drain it. That's probably why I came this way. Yeah, sometimes I think I plan stuff out, and I don't even realize I'm planning it out until I'm actually doing it. And I'm like, wait, this was my plan all along, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That's why I did what I did. Duh. I'm not as dumb as I think I am. I'm actually, like, it's like my brain's on autopilot, and it's doing stuff for me. And then when, like, I'm realizing what I'm doing for myself, then I'm like, oh, I did that for me. 
Look at me, I'm looking out for myself. <laughs> me, myself, and I. Wow, Squid, good job. I feel like that's a mood, though. Like, some people are probably gone through the same mind just instinctively does stuff that you help you out. But look, we're draining it, which is good. So this will drain that whole underwater uh, area, and then so that water will go down. And then all the water there. Now we're up though, so we have to fight. We are up a daisy. Probably gonna die. Gotta fight now. It's all for nothing. Gotta fight. We're probably gonna die though. This is why I didn't want to do this. Trying to dodge it as best I can. Ash me. Yeah, we died. So close, Squid. So close. Got it out. Duked it. The queen duked it out best we can. Fight, fight, fight. Like a Pokemon training. Fight, fight, fight. Good job, Squid. Fought, fought, fought. So you died. Uh. Great time to start getting off the chest. I think we actually have a place through our chest craft through organize everything. We got an area for cobwebs. We could put some bricks in here for now. Blowing mushrooms. Desert fossils can go in here. Do we have any amethyst? Oh, yeah, right. There. Amethyst. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Um, uh, mini death meter. Let's have that. Let's just start putting stuff on our character. Whatever it is, it might help us in the long run. Slayer gun can go in here for now. Uh, shroom minecart. I like the sound of lame one. Get a new minecart. Beautiful. Mining potion. Sweet. I like that. This chest. Fly for a few seconds. Shoot. Let's kiss that. Anything can help our character out. Sand blocks. Recall potion. Don't need it. Sandstone blocks. Mud blocks. All our ores. Have our rope. Yay! Silks. Put the fire knives in there. We got some cool mushroom torches. Might need those since we're running out. Sadly. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the blocks in here now. You know where to get them. Uh, wood. Sand. Put that in there. And let's start getting all our ores together. See what we can craft next with all this ore. We got more bombs. Good, good, good. Let's craft the rest. Some stickies. Perfect. It's very, very. Okay. To the furnace. Get to crafting. What do we do with the metal? Uh, we don't- I don't want to waste it on some blocks. Got to see, make some horse. Silver. Make a lot of that. There we go. Go. 
little more. I mean, We have iron. Lead. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so just have it first. It took me a while to understand that again. We have silver. Right, right, right. So, so the most toughest one, I think. Platinum is the next one. Tougher, 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 tougher stuff. What's platinum? Eleven silver. We got about fourteen. Okay, so we could probably make it. Um, silver chain mail. Yeah, let's let's upgrade ourselves and give us the um better chest, please. Low tougher. Wow, look at me. How much? Alright, I think that's gonna do it. Oh, more torches? Uh, we gotta make whatever we got left in the gel. All we have left. Alright, so then we put the rest in our... I am looking slick now. Very slick. Look at you, squid girl. You are supporting me. I'll start putting all the bars in here. Save them in here. And in this episode, we can work on also putting up the carts. Mine cart. It came a long way. Very nice long way. Building, crafting. Oh man, that is cool. Like magic carpet. Magic carpet cool. Like Aladdin type cool. Fly with me. Come with me. Oh, that sword's gonna really be a good help. Help. Um, I'm actually gonna get those stars too. Collecting stars is gonna be one of our important things to do in this game. Collect the stars like Mario. Oh, that carpet's gonna be a beautiful help. Look at that. That is whatever falling to our death <laughs> type situation. We are gonna be able to get across the land a lot easier. Look at us. Fly away, come with me like a rocket here. Let's fly out. up, up. Here we go, go where we stop. Nobody knows. This is my land. You shall not pass. I am the squid. My land. I bear this land. This is mine. 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 This is my land. Moi, 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 mo
beautiful cherry blossom tree. So beautiful. My, 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 Finding Nemo. My, my, my. I'm gonna start making movie ref references in this episode. So movie references. My, my, la 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 la. Big Hero Sticks, Bay Mac. La la la. Hair. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is the cart. <coughs> Taking a breather. Deep breath. Let's see. We came, we explored this mushroom biome. You know, we might go back next time to get that crystal, actually. We will get it next time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna promise, I'm gonna go ahead and do that promise I promised y'all in the last episode. And go ahead and explore all the way to the right. I have this amazing magic carpet. Let's do it. Demon eyes. Shooting star killed that demon eye. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Very crazy. Let's do what I promised and explore this whole right of the land together. On a magic. Come with me. Fly away. Let's fly. Fly. And this magic carpet is like OP. We're able to fly thing. They're not able to touch us. We're gonna get all the way to the right in no time. As long as I hold the space bar, we can just fly over. But it doesn't last long, like it said. It doesn't last that long. Whoop. But at least you can use it again to catch yourself when you're flying. Collect as many stars as you can. <laughs> Video games. Gotta love them. And here's the corruption. My favorite ones. Some fourth list of biomes. It is different. It does have a different vibe to it. It is, you know, interesting how different it is. But. Oh, wow! I did not see that coming. So, I thought I could do it again. Press the face again. To catch myself on the magic carpet. That did not work. I learned a lesson just now with that. Yeah. You know what, we're like at half-life. We respawned with half our life. So, uh, I feel like I might make a bad mistake with dying again. Except if I try to go all the way to the right. Yeah, I don't trust myself right now. <laughs> for a while. It's, it's maybe OP for a little bit in certain stages. Circumstances when you're trying to hold it out so much, though, and you think it's OP, it actually isn't. It's not that great. It fails. Sometimes just that happens. It fails. The item fails. If you're not using it properly, it fails. We could possibly mine all the way to the right underground and pop up somewhere magically somewhere we could do that and we could also get into buying and selling i'm sure one of these guys might have something i want to also show y'all you know how they work too anyway
copper stuff. Not too special. Don't need any of this. Sickle's kind of. Don't hear you. I guess we'll talk to you for Where are we? Uh, I, I feel like the first game is about creating a thing by coloring for every color of your body in your world. As you see when I'm flipping through each flip, picking on the person and the character that you're working with. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, and then you log into the world, uh, you can do random, small, it's kind of like Minecraft. It's similar to Minecraft in a way. Uh, you have, you can build, you can craft, you mine, you explore, you, uh, you work the crafting table, furnace, uh, you can make a campfire, there's rakes, there's torches, yes, there's aerial, arrow, arrows, pretty cool. Lots of stuff, as you see. Okay, now that we have enough of the star stars, we can make a bunch of these, which help out your potions when you are needing um, when you have magic involved in the game. There's magic, so we need these to do that. And I get achievement. And now we have discovered magic. Um, I think actually I'm able to see. All our achievements. Let's go through them. Equip armor in all three armor slots. So we might be doing that the next time we play. Uh, defeat some monsters. Bosses, I'm guessing. And this is what we all did. We chopped down our first tree. We craft our first workbench. We build a house. Hammer. Mined. Discovered a heart. Anvil. Looted. Crafted mana crystal. Yada yada, counter to fairy. Equip your first grappling hook. These are a lot of, uh, defeat bosses. Wow. I, I've never used that I can pull up all these different types of achievements. We could go through these through. Do each achievement. Each episode, try to work as many achievements as we can. If we can find all these achievements. It may take a while to go, because some of these are really hard and it takes a while to like get your character up there, upgraded. All your NPCs in your little village. That's a lot of achievements. Yeah, uh, the grappling. Let's, uh... What does it mean by, I have to, uh, craft the grappling hook? Chainmail, right? I probably find a grappling hook in one of the chests while we're exploring where we're looting places. You do find different crafting equipment that. You go into the jungle area all the way to the right and you discover there's a jungle biome all the way to the right. There's a desert biome, a corruption, crimson, um, jungle, corruption, crimson, uh, fairy, uh, desert. Kind of like a beach biome. Hmm. I think that might be it. All the biomes that are around. Exploring areas. Pretty cool. Uh.
You know what? I'm gonna get one more try back going to the right. One more try. Let's just get this nice little fly by. I'm just gonna be a lot more careful. I was kind of silly for just, like, letting it go for some reason. It's like part four, it's like practice. You gotta practice at it. You get it right. You don't die. Fall damage is no joke in any game you play. It's that corruption area that's got me, got my character scared. I'm scared not to, like, get hit by one of them. Now it's working. Now you can get professor. Look at me, I'm flying. To another place. Come with me. We're flying far away. On a magic carpet ride. Just you and me. Or, oh, we do that a lot. In every video. So why not? We take a break. And we fly through the sky. On a magic carpet ride, come with me. Just don't get my corruption. They will hurt you. They will fight you. They will get you. Yes, they will. These are like corruption branches that hit you. Be careful where you go. Please don't get hurt. Maybe just a little bit. It's fine. Now mushrooms. You can also make potions. Uh, things you can eat with mushrooms. I think uh, there's an apple. Where you can craft potions and work on potions on here. Oh, this is where we died. Alright, let's try to go further to the right. Come with me. Okay. Hope we don't get stuck here. He probably will, because this guy's stuck. Now, why I used to always have a. what it called a. um. the uh, grappling hook. Now I do remember using that a lot in this game. Uh, to be able- let's kill some of these guys for fun. <laughs> Show you what these corruption dudes are all about. Uh, it gets you up when you're stuck like this. Uh, I mean, you could use block. You could use to build up. But once we find it in the chest somehow- Oh no you don't. I wonder if we can just fly from here. You guys are making us make a detour. Ah. Why the detour, man? Oh, hey, look at that. It did work out for us in the end. Okay. Got through. Governed more land. Ah! You're in our way, champ. Move out the way. Now it looks like we're discovering another biome as we get to the right. Ice biome. I used to really love this one. This is one of my favorites too, because of how cool it is. So much you can do here. Music changes in every biome you enter. Very cool. Beautiful. That's the color of our armor. Like white as snow. No, icy snow. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore, let it go. Let it go. So beautiful.
Now we made it to a tree. Look at that. Another tree. A landmark for our character. Because you see a lot of trees. Trade Blossom Tree. It's like a, it's a type of tree in Japanese anime. I love anime. Anime is the best. Probably why I'm playing Terraria. <laughs> it gives off a little bit of like an animated feel too. By the way. So much you can do on it as well. So much. Corruption has got desert, a corrupted desert. Very cool. Interesting. It's very dark. Dun dun dun. I don't want to be stuck here. No, indeed. Going back. Why we make him the safety? Back away! Back, back, you monster! Going back that way again. Probably make him the stickies, because I don't feel like we're gonna get out of here if I don't. Back off. Instead, they gen generated because we have to get our character all prepared for that dungeon fight. Should be fun. Dungeon fight with that old man. I mean, I don't fight the old man. I think I do. I fight the demon that There's a demon attached to that old man. That's why he's stuck there. Trapped. Forever marching in front of that dungeon. It's going back to the death. Ah, oh, great. I'm gonna get stuck again. Good job, Squid. Always screwing things up. I have built all up. And you can't mine this stuff. Not yet. If we got a better weapon. I promised you guys all the way to the right, see whatever we find, and I'm keeping that promise. Promise is a promise, no matter what. No matter how hard it gets. I feel like it's gonna be pretty hard. I get hit by a lot of branches that are corrupted. That hurt. I don't want to die.
Okay. Alright. We got out of the corruption. We made it to the beach biome. So beautiful. And you know what that means, guys. Biome usually means you make it all the way to one corner of the world. To the end. Lovely beach area. As this corruption creature is all the way to the end. Beautiful. As I'm way out here at the beach. Dry. I would like to say thank you guys for joining me. Third let's play of this Terraria fun time that we're having together. And as always, I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. You guys have a good one. He's done. Save and exit. Thank you guys for coming to us. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't hit the bell notifications. Squid slap with me. Peace out. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.